Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 7 and we have officially got the final and new trailer for Season 7. Finally, after such a long time, we've got a new look at our season, the upcoming season, which is Season 7. This is going to be Episode 1. This is only footage from Episode 1, which was initially shot to be part of last season's Episode 20. So they've retooled it for Episode 1 this season. And we've got this trailer to talk about here. So this has been released with the panel earlier today. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any Flash Season 7 videos later this year because we're going to be amping up the content as we head towards the end of this year and 2021 because really from September, We've only got September, October, November and December and then The Flash is back. It's not all too bad and they are returning to filming sometime very, very soon. So, you know, they're going to be back, you know, around the end of August. They're going to do their two week quarantine and then the actors and the cast and crew are all going to be back on set filming. We'll see some behind the scenes stuff. We'll get some teasers. Sure, they'll start to do some interviews. Maybe they'll release another trailer sometime in like November, December. So look out for that. And we're obviously going to make, you know, daily to once every few days flash content between Supergirl videos. So yeah, look out for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this trailer breakdown. So the first shot of the trailer and the first couple of things that happen are stuff that happened last season right so you know we have a little refresher of where we left off we have barry and iris separated barry knows that iris was not the real iris and the real iris is stuck in the mirror verse so the main reason for this episode is very iris centric it's to get iris out of there or for iris to get herself out of there so that is the main goal of the episode obviously this isn't planned to be in episode 1, this is planned to be a continuation from episode 19, so I don't know how it's going to feel as an episode 1, but we'll have to wait and see. But the first real new shot, and it was kind of hard at first when I was watching this trailer, I was like, is this stuff from last season or is this new stuff? But then I watched the trailer like 5 times or something like that, and I realised, oh, you know, this stuff is new, this stuff is old, because, you know, really, the last time we watched The Flash was like, what? At the end of April or something like that it's been quite a while now it's like August so I had to have a little refresher in my mind maybe you guys had to or maybe you spotted it straight away but anyway let's go ahead the first shot of the trailer is of Eva and Eva is using her sort of you know gun on her arm or whatever you call it and she is in a warehouse and later in the trailer it's revealed to be a black hole warehouse so we'll get into that once we get to it but like I said we get some refreshers, you can see on the screen right now, Barry and Iris, that great scene in one of the last episodes of the season. Okay, so now we go to some more new footage, this is of Iris, and this is a different version of Iris. This is someone in the Mirrorverse, it's inside the real Iris's mind. So that's why she looks a little bit different, the clothing, we'll get to that in a second. So Iris, in response to this, says, you know, like, who are you and stuff. And then we go to this shot, and then what Iris, this sort of fake Iris reveals is, yeah, I'm in your mind, and I'm a product of your broken mind. So that's what happened, and in the trailer, they cut in a shot from season one when she was still a barista, and it's the same clothing as this broken Iris, as they call her, inside her mind. So... You know, this is going to be what Iris is going to be dealing with some of the different versions of herself throughout this episode because it's all in her mind and this is a straight, like, sort of thing that happened after the finale and the way the finale ended with Iris actually disappearing and sort of disintegrating in the mirror of us so she's still getting messed around but this time it's inside of her head. And so let's move on to the next shot. So Barry is losing his speed. You can see it from here. Barry's running. Looks like he's running out of speed. I might be wrong in saying I think this is a new shot, but possibly it might be a repeat from last season. We'll have to wait and see. And Nash is working on the Speed Force device in the next shot. So he's going to be helping out. I think Chester P. Runk is going to be working with him because they both are in the Speed Lab. 
Chester in this next shot is working on the computer, I'm guessing he's doing the technical side, maybe Nash is making it, and so you've got the artificial speed force, this is going to be another thing in this episode, and the next few episodes I'm presuming, because Barry's speed is running out and he's going to need his speed to defeat Eva like he says in this trailer. Okay, so let's move on and you got like a few other shots, you got Barry inside that same room, he's probably looking at the speed force device, the artificial speed force. Then we got a flashback shot to, you remember that episode when they went to the future? And you had the top, you had Mirror Master, you had the future version of the Flash, back in season 3, so the top is back and she is messing with Cecile, I'm not specifically sure why Cecile went to visit the top, but the top is in prison and she's able to actually get through to Cecile and she uses her powers, her eyes turn green. If you remember that episode, you might want to go back and maybe rewatch it, but yeah, this is the top. You might have not recognized her because after all, that was season three the last time we saw her, it's season seven now. At first I was like, who is this person? Then I was like, oh yeah, I recognize her. Wasn't she in that episode? And turns out she was. And so yeah, she gets through to Cecile. Cecile's eyes turn green and, you know, she reveals that she was an empath, only she never held back. So she's getting through to Cecile maybe trying to, you know, change her or something like that. And then we got this other shot of her again, and she's out. She's in, you know, her costume and everything like that. Cecile was, you know, snapping out of it in this specific shot. And we go back to Iris, and Iris is in the Mirrorverse. This is a very cool shot because you get to see three different versions of her reflected. Just a really, really nice thing. Very much so sums up what is happening with Iris, the fact that her personality is sort of split and you're seeing these different versions of herself in her own head. And we get the version of Iris we saw once in the future where she is old. And so she's got gray hair, sort of gray streaks. And so old Iris, and I'm calling her old, she's obviously not very old, but you know, she's got gray hair, so we're gonna call her old Iris. And she says this, there's only two options in this place, survival or madness. So yeah, she's still inside the Mirrorverse and this version of Iris is a part of her consciousness and she is talking to our normal Iris to try and get her out of it. But also it seems like our Iris is a little bit scared of her and then she talks about the fact that your friends are not coming. We've got like Killer Frost, you've got Cisco, then you've got Barry who is actually crying in this specific shot. I'm guessing they're trying to break into the Mirrorverse here and maybe something to do with the artificial speed force but nothing's working Barry is crying because you know he is desperate to find Iris you got this other shot of old Iris and you know it's just in the same scene then you've got old Iris approaching seemingly like our normal version of Iris and she's got her hands on her head seems like her head is you know throbbing and everything like that as it does when she's in the mirrorverse and so she's seen muttering to herself and I think you know, the cause of all of this and all of the reason why she's having these different versions of herself talking to herself is because the Mirrorverse is starting to get to her and you can see that in this shot as well. Okay, so we move over to some of the threat of the episode, I think. And I think, you know, I think there's a new shot, like, I could be wrong, but anyway, a supersonic jet is crashing over the city, Nash says. And so you got the shot down here of Barry looking up at the sky. So this is what makes me suppose that this is a new threat because I don't recognize this shot. It looks very cool with the blue and the orange in the background. Barry's fully suited up as the Flash. And at this point, Joe says, Barry is losing speed, aren't you? Like, you know, you're losing speed to Barry. And Barry starts to freak out in Star Labs because he all the Star Labs mugs in the background. But yeah, Barry's freaking out to the team or to one specific person, I'm not sure. Then we go over to what looks like the warehouse and Barry is in here fully suited up and he's seemingly seen something. And then we go back to earlier in the day where Eva has attacked the warehouse. And in this shot, you can see her blasting a black hole crate and she's got some resistance against her. I'm presuming they work for Black Hole. So this pretty much sums up a theory regarding, you know, Black Hole. Some people were like, oh, Black Hole's gone, but no, it seems like she's, you know, cleaning up the field, she's getting all the Black Hole people, and maybe this could lead to some Godspeed stuff, because Godspeed was included in the trailer. I don't know if they just did that 
for the sake of it looking cool, but Godspeed is potentially linked to black hole, so we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, you can see the black hole logo on this crater, and so Eva is here and she says, we have a whole world to liberate. Okay, so now we go over to Star Labs and Chester is back. Chester is working on, I'm presuming, the artificial speed force. Barry's freaking out. He needs his speed, he needs help, and, you know, this is what he's going to potentially get with the help of the whole team, essentially. You know, the whole team going back, Cisco being back and everything. And so you got Nash and you got Allegra. They're seemingly in shock at something happening here. Same with Chester. And so seemingly practicing and developing their new speed force, the artificial speed force. You've got this right here. This is the orb that Wells was using earlier that Nash was using. And so Barry seemingly gets struck by it and he's got this sort of lightning bolt around his head. You can see he's sort of freaking out over it. And it seems like they are testing out this new device to try and give him the speed force because you can see on his left hand on his wrist he's still got the watch on meaning he has no speed and this is definitely to do with the artificial speed force so that's very exciting he's finally getting to try and use the artificial speed force maybe it'll work with the help of Chester you got this shot Barry's running I'm presuming this noob doesn't look very familiar to me and then we go over and Barry is running through Star Labs and Obviously, this is a green screen, Barry, like Grant is just running, you know, on the spot or something like that. And yeah, so he is running, he's probably trying to get his speed back or something like that. Okay, so the last shot of the trailer is Barry, and Barry says, we have to get everyone back. So this is going to be massive. Season 7 is coming January 2021, so be on the lookout for that. I'll have another video out sometime in the next day or so. Regarding the panel, this was just specifically to do with the trailer, so that panel video will be coming out. So, remember, DC Fandom is going to be in two parts. It has already happened today, well, the Flash panel has happened, and then you can go over on September the 12th, there's going to be more DC TV panels, including Superman and Lois, Lightning, Legends of Tomorrow, and all of the other shows. So, yeah, and there's also a Supergirl panel happening at another con. Supergirl isn't going to have like a full Supergirl panel at any of the DC fandom events. However, you know, they are going to have a panel pretty soon, so maybe I'll make a video on that sometime soon. But yeah, the Season 7 trailer was very good. I'm very excited. Watch it a couple of times, get used to it, and sort of see what you want and see what to expect for Season 7. I think this is going to be good. I'm looking forward to wrapping up Eva's story and everything like that. I think, you know, they're going to do a good job of it, they're going to film, you know, retool episode 1 a little bit before they show this episode in January, and then you'll have the new footage very soon, and you'll see some behind the scenes stuff very, very soon as they head back to filming in Vancouver sometime in the next, like, 2-3 weeks or something like that. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later, goodbye.